Almighty push. Welcome to this podcast, man. I'm going to figure out if I'm going to put this somewhere, whatever it is. You know how we keep it real, man. It's your boy Almighty. I got a great guest, man. I got the homie, man. Intellectual, hey. uh, what's that? Uh, director? I'm right? a director. Director, you yeah. know what I'm saying? He, he Hollywood. Like, he real deal Hollywood. You know, most of y'all probably already seen him somewhere before. You know what I'm talking about? But I got the homie right here, man. And he going to introduce himself and all that good stuff. And we're about to get into some, some heated discussion. Big. First of all, I'm just excited to be on your amazing show. So thank you for having me. I appreciate you blessing me. I know y'all here doing big things and going after your dreams and turning them into rally. So we about to get lit. So what it do, everybody? My name is King Jacquel Martin. I'm a director, actor, author, the best motivational speaker that the world ain't heard yet, but y'all about to. So I'm gonna give y'all a nice little Costco sample and we're gonna get into this fire conversation. Oh, oh. God, that man came in. See, the, the way he the way he already riding the thing out, he already just like da, 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 da. you already can tell this man about to drop that joint. Hey, man. So hey. look, we're gonna about to stop with the extra shit. First, we're going, you know, he's gonna give you all, you know, details, you know, tell about himself, life, where he's from, shit like that. And then we're gonna go with him, you know, all that good stuff. But yeah, bro. Let's, all right, so cool, let's keep it easy. So I'm from heaven. Bro, what the fuck? Straight like that. See, most people don't get that. I'm from heaven for facts. But I was born in Benton Harbor, Michigan, and I'm an army brat. If you get it, you get it. And if you don't, it's cool. One day you might. Damn, that's cold right there. That might hit me with the heaven thing. Though. Yeah, I'm, I'm from heaven. But you, you be hitting the ladies with that. That's, that's the first thing you I mean, if say they ask, they ask you where you're you, you from, you're going to hit them. Heaven. And how'd that play out for you, though? They be like, wait, what? And then? And then they were like, oh, oh I like, okay, I got you, I got you. Oh, okay, okay. And if she catch the wave, she catch it, and if she don't, it's cool. See, yeah, we were talking about that earlier. Um, we were talking about, like, kind of being yourself and other stuff in the car, right? Yep. And it's one thing I was telling you, when, when I shoot my podcast, I, I, I'm, I, I refer back to shit that was off the air type shit, so it's like, that's cool. But we're talking about being yourself, and we're talking about, uh, specifically, right now, we're talking about women towards men towards women type shit right men i i think there's an issue right now with men not being 100 when they come to when they, there's a lot of games and they just try to they try to hold back some information they try to hold back themselves the idea or the concept that you don't give somebody your full self when you meet them you kind of hold back you know and all that good stuff what you think about this shit? first of all yeah, what you think about it bro like like what's your what's your what's your opinion because you know what i'm saying you already know how i feel about it but you know, what you think about it, dog? Hurt people hurt people. What you mean by that, bro? Because sometimes when you do give a person your all, you wind up hurt. And you be like, y'all never want to feel this way again. So to protect yourself, you only showcase the representative sometimes. And so this is the image or that you want this person to believe that you are, right? right? Because sometimes when you show a person who you are or you give a person your all, it's not reciprocal. Or people be like, oh, I got him wrapped around my fingers. Oh, it's this. Oh, it's this. And they try to play you for a dummy. So to preserve that protection, to see if I can really trust you with who I really am, it is what it is. I mean, but if you do that, though, so this this now is going to fall into something. I, I was, a previous episode as well, I hit somebody. I'm like, bro, you can't really know nobody, right? So if you're doing that to protect yourself in the hopes of, you know, maybe you got hurt before. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to try to, I don't want this person to waste my time again. I'm going to try to, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to peep them out. I'm going I'm to peep. He or she, right? I'm a people person now. I'm a you know that. At the end of the day, you can still be hurt. You know, a course. lot of people fall into relationships or get married to somebody thirty years, forty years, find a person that had a whole family. So how, like, of what importance is that whole kind of guarding yourself or kind of easing up into it? Like, how does that really help as opposed to you just coming out? If you if you like this, just be like that. You know that kind of thing, and they just kind of like, okay, I don't like this because you know at the end of the day, if if I come at you the way I come at you, and you just like. 30 years later, I'm still the same motherfucker. I, I mean, well, not necessarily the same, but the character, the, the structure is still the same. Principle. You yeah. know, you get to know, like, oh, this guy, okay, he's been like this. Literally, the first day I met him, he was just on some, oh, and I now think, he's still on some. Yeah. Well, if you keep it 100, I think you're supposed to keep it 100, right? Yeah. And at the same time, I think people forget how to date time. And you're like, what the fuck? Well, what I mean by dating yeah, time I mean, I is. To, I was about to <laughs> what the fuck? Too. I was like, what the fuck is date time, bro? Time will build who a person really is. Mm -hmm. See, so a lot of times we rush things. Mm -hmm. I know I have before, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But when you allow time to do what time to do, it's going to eventually show you who that person really is. You see what I'm saying? So when you're able to just to sit back, a person can only pretend to be somebody that they're not for so long. Everybody has, 
you know, their patterns. Mm -hmm. And if you actually study a person, you can tell once. Has your mom ever been like, yo, what's wrong with you? But you never told your mom something was wrong? Oh, she just did that last mom. Right? Because she could tell your energy. Mm -hmm. She could tell your pattern. She mm -hmm. could hear your voice. She could tell how you act and how you sound. So when you are allowing yourself to sit back and watch a person, and when they start acting uncharacteristic out of their patterns, you'd be like, yo, red flag. Flags. Something's off. We've all been in relationships. We've all seen red flags. And sometimes we allow a person's potential or what we think or the image of what we want of that person to distract us from who that person really is. And we ignore the red flags. And then all of a sudden you get a whole bunch of red flags. You're like, man, this ain't working. Yeah. But you've seen that from before. You just didn't pay attention or you chose to ignore what you saw. Haven't you seen, what about the situation? Yeah, there's this thing. Uh, when I was younger, there was this thing they taught us, bro. Like, or there was a story, right? There was a guy had someone that it was a church type story. Okay. Someone walked into the store, into the church, seen a man. So they had left money on the like on the altar, right? Mm -hmm. And they had seen a man like kind of like this at the altar. So they they you know, once they walked in, that's what they saw from the you know the person at the altar is right there. The guy's doing that. So he read that. Oh, thief! He's about to steal. You know they took him and did all perception. That. But when you actually come to find out that his bag was right there or, or there was like a roach or there was something like that he was trying to kill he wasn't really going for the money but there was something close to that so with that kind of idea or going with that kind of uh that kind of mindset into like you know what I'm saying this kind of department in the sense of you know people and all that good shit how like you you can't like this is my thing with that it's like going with it like you said dating time mm -hmm. but that's not sure it's not guaranteed. So Nothing's you, you guaranteed. might be thinking, looking at something and thinking this is how it's going, how it is, how it plays out, or how this person thinks, how this person, that, that, that. At the end of the day, it's not what, you know, it's not what you see. Right. From the other perspective, it's a whole different thing. From this other person's perspective, is it. So how, how can we kind of bring our minds together in a sense of kind of make that, because to be honest, I still don't fuck with the whole idea of like don't don't give me yourself one hundred. It kind of ease up to me because you were hurt. Because at the end of the day, I don't want to stop finding things about you like later on. You know, I mean, first of all, you're never gonna stop learning about a person because a person changes. Who a person is at whatever age when they turn the next birthday comes up or whatever else, they're not gonna be the same person. Yeah, fact. People are always forever changing, so you always have to be willing to learn more about a person and the day that you stop wanting to learn about that person is the day that things start going their opposite ways mm -hmm. you always have to be open to learning more not even about that person but learning yourself because you're going to change your standards are going to change the things that you like the things that you don't put up with like a lot of people don't understand boundaries mm -hmm. right so if you don't have a boundary then you train a person how to treat you based off of what you say yes and no to and then you're upset because if i never told you hey i don't like that you're gonna keep doing it now, are you wrong for continuously doing the same thing? Or is it my fault for not telling you that, hey, I don't like this. This is not okay. This bothers me. Mm -hmm. So I think that you got to have strong boundaries. You got to understand who you are and you can really learn a person when you tell them no. See, anybody can be cool with you during the yeses. Mm -hmm. But who are you when I tell you no? That's crazy, bro. Like, that's hard. Yeah, because I ain't gonna lie to you, keeping the bundle, man. Especially with the home, even with the homies. When my homies, when the homies, you know, what I'm saying everything is good and all that shit. Once she kind of gets serious, bro, like yeah. you know what I'm saying it's like the the mood changes. Everybody's kind of like, you know, what I'm saying nobody kind of knows what next. It's, move it's to a make. people thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. it's not a it's not a female it's not thing. A, yeah. It's a people thing. It's, a, it's definitely a, a yeah, you can apply that to your family. You can apply that on the job. You can apply that to your friends. You can apply that to your girl. It, it's it's a people thing, and. People don't have boundaries. Like, can't nobody break your heart? I don't believe that. I believe you break your own heart. You see what I'm saying? I broke my heart because I gave you more than what I was supposed to be giving. It's supposed to be reciprocal. And people always talk about this thing when it comes to a cup. Is it half empty or is it half full? No, it's a cup. But the important thing about the cup is, it's your cup. Oh, shit. You got your cup. I got my cup. Mm -hmm. And if I'm always giving from my cup, to you, then I have nothing. You fool and I'm empty, but I can't be mad at you for being fool because I gave away what was mine. Mm. But ain't you supposed to give though? It, it, like, and that's you are. Had this, you know what I'm saying? And this, so look, so I was talking with somebody once and they were talking about, so this whole love or emotion thing is a thing of like, I always tell people you got to balance emotion with, with, with sense. Yeah, but, but, wait, but see what the cup is, right? So I can fill it in. If I'm always giving you my cup, then I have nothing for me. Mm -hmm. But are you supposed to give in a relationship? Yes. 
What you're supposed to do is allow your cup to fill up and allow the overflow to be the blessing of someone else. Mm. See, when you allow them to get the overflow, then you're always full. But isn't that selfish, though? It is, if you, it's if you, you it's not saying? selfish to love yourself. Mm. It's not selfish to have boundaries for yourself. It's not selfish to have your own goals, your own dreams, your own personal things. See, when you have a partner, a partner is supposed to help you catapult to get there. You're supposed to help your partner catapult to get to where they're going. Mm -hmm. So it's not selfish to have self-love because when you don't have self-love, how can you love someone else? Yo, hearing this, I, I, you know, crazy enough, I did a, I did an episode on there too, which is like, I, I'm, I was writing an episode. I've, I've not done it yet. But it's basically saying, literally what you say. It's like, uh, how did I say this? It was something about like, like I'm, I, it's, it's about me. That's how I put it. It's about me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's about me first, you know, that kind of thing before anybody else. And I was going to just title it that. And by the time people get in, they get to realize you can't help somebody if you haven't helped yourself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like a cripple can't help another cripple. Bro, y'all, yo, yo, is a cripple. I can't love you from an empty cup. You can't. I can't love you if I ain't got no love for me. How is that possible? How can I really truly love you if I don't know how to love me? Mm. So, okay. Now let's let's channel this love thing. Let's go. So guys and girls. Okay. How can how can this so that's a huge divide. I just had an episode, I did an episode on another show talking to a lady and trying to figure out how can we mend this? What can we do? Because clearly we place value in two different things. And that's what she was she was telling me. Right? Yeah. And I I want to get your opinion from that. So how do we what do we what can we do? She says, because men look more on personality as in that's the all being thing. Sex doesn't matter. We can we can smell that. A woman cares about sex and cares about personality, but the personality is not. She cares about more of what he can give, like safety. She can she can overlook some personality things mm -hmm. if he has good dick, if he has money, if he mm -hmm. has this. A man can overlook some personality things if she's bad and all that, but he's not going to wife her. Yeah. When it comes to wifing, he can only wife personality. Men tend to only really wife personality, or at least lock down personality. What do you think? Because if you, you get, you get what I'm saying, you see that we, yeah, we it I, seems like we put we this no, you get what I'm saying. Men and women, we don't agree on the same thing as this is the main. I mean, other than personality, of course, we don't agree on. You get what I'm saying. Sex is really weird. From you start splitting from intimacy parts, we start splitting now. What do you think? Like, what is your honest thought? I'm, I mean, give me the. Whole I'm story. a work in progress, so I can sit here and act like I'm the expert on it because I'm still going through my ups and downs yeah. and my roller coaster. Well, in your version, bro. A life. Yeah, yeah. Um, I guess from your thoughts. Of course. We, we for, know, for, know. for me, yeah. healing is important. Mm -hmm. For me, healing is important because I feel like a lot of times wounded people are out here trying to love wounded people. Mm. And when a person can't tend to your wounds, then all of a sudden you have a problem with them, but it's not their job to heal you. Mm -hmm. You got to learn how to heal yourself. Like, because a lot of times we go into relationships with so much baggage, right? Not just mentally, but you know, just things that we've been through from our childhood, from our experiences, from all the different curveballs life has thrown at us. Mm. You know, like, um, okay, in a business, just follow me. In a business, you do a SWOT report. You do the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, threats. And the reason why you do this in a business is so you can get a better return on investment in life, right? So the business can make more money. Mm -hmm. Okay, if that's true in business, then when was the last time you did a SWOT report on yourself? Mm, I, knew, I knew that was coming. Right? When was the last time you addressed your strengths? Mm -hmm. About you, like, okay, I'm really good at this. I'm really talented at this. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I know that this is a gift, right? Mm -hmm. But what's in your blind spot? When was the last time you had an honest conversation about your weaknesses, the things that you need to improve, the things that you aren't good at, the things that you might not know that's been a flaw? Because everywhere you go, you've always been the common denominator of your life. Mm -hmm. Whether it be good, whether it be bad, whether it be a good relationship or a bad relationship, at the end of the day, there's you. And every argument that you had in your life, there's always been you. You're the main character of your life. Right? Your so when was the last time you addressed your strengths, your weaknesses, so you could be prepared for the new opportunity? And when a threat comes, you know how to handle it because now you know you. Because mm -hmm. you're always going to have 
different challenges that you're going to go through. You're always going to have problems. You're always going to have things that test you. So the question is, where's your emotional intelligence in the midst of when you go through something? Mm -hmm. And before I can tell you about you, I need to learn me about me. Mm -hmm. So that way, when we go through something in an issue, in a relationship, I know how I can display emotional intelligence in the midst of what I'm going through. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times, yo, we argue about the dumbest stuff in relationships. We argue over the minuscule things because in the heated moments, we have no emotional intelligence. Exactly. We, we have no truth. We have no honesty. Hey, I don't like this. I don't because we don't want to upset the person. So we start to walk on eggshells or we don't start to tell our truth. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, the boundaries that we should have disappear. And then we wonder why we're upset mm -hmm. or we're, 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 we're closet angry at the person that we're supposed to be in love with. And what I mean by being closet angry is I didn't tell you my boundary. Mm -hmm. So now I got this resentment that's starting to build up and you don't even know. Yeah, exactly. That's the person I know. And then all of a sudden I done snapped in the situation. You're like, yo, where this come from? But because I couldn't be honest with you, it built up, it was building up. Mm -hmm. It was like the little teapot waiting to explode. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And now it's exploding. And then no, it's you're exploding because you didn't have no emotional intelligence to actually say how you really felt. Mm -hmm. Or you didn't know how to have any integrity with the person that's across from you and you didn't know how to just be real. And I think those are the little things that I'm still working on and I'm 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 a work in progress to get better at that. You feel me? Everybody's working on that. And every and I, what you said is basically from basically what I'm, what what I'm getting is one communication. Yeah. Um. And and I, I keep I keep hammering on this. Yeah. Right? Nope. I don't know what's in your mind. Yeah. The reason we're sitting down talking right now is because I heard we, we were talking about something. And I'm like, oh, that, that shit. I'm like, let me let me get some more. Let's get yeah. you know what I'm saying. Let's get people to get what these. You know what I'm saying. It's like I can't read your mind. No matter how similar, even if we twins, we still think differently. That's so the fact. only way for you to know what's going in in here, yeah. is to communicate. And yeah. I think another problem is that. One is communicating and communicating the right way. And yep. then people communicate differently. Yeah, man. So now I'm, I was thinking about this on the way here. So can you tell us, or tell me at least, give me some more. What are different ways people, of course, we know communication has different verbal and all that. Yeah. But what are the different ways you, you know, you've seen, or at least you've experienced that? All right. You know, I'm going to tell you something that I'm still working to get better at. Intention versus execution. Your intentions can be right. Your heart can be in the right place. But if you don't know how to execute what you're trying to say and it comes out wrong, your intention don't even matter no more. This time we have that problem like a motherfucker. Man, right now. intention versus execution That's, is huge, bro. So in that situation now, like, and, and that's a huge thing. Do you, what do you judge when you, when you, like, let's say someone does do some shit with a good intention, but the shit, the execution was trash. What, what do you judge? Because I've had this because I've asked people a lot. Some people are like, right? I, I, I care about the result. I don't even give a fuck about what you were trying to do. If you were trying to be nice, but you end up fucking me over, it's like, bro, you still fuck me over. Some exactly. Like, some that, like, that's, that's why that. That's why that is such a key cog in the machine of communication. Yeah. Because in my heart, I might be wanting to say, do, mm -hmm. and it just how I executed it. It's not delivered. That's like if I. It's like trying to dress up a pig. But the pig is beautiful. Look, I put makeup on it. No, nigga, it's, it's still a pig. pig. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So you got to work on how you say what you say. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you got to be honest in what you're saying. Because if I can't be honest with you, if I really can't tell you what I'm feeling or whatever else, then guess what? I'm losing my own boundaries and I'm having my own insanity. And not even intention versus execution with your partner. What about intention versus execution with yourself? Because your biggest enemy is your enemy, your I N N E R, mm -hmm. and how you self talk, how, what you say to yourself, mm -hmm. that goes a long way, way before how you can say something to someone else. How do you talk to the person in the mirror? Mm -hmm. How do you talk to you when you're going through something, when you're struggling, you can't get it, it seems like life ain't going right, it seems like life is kicking your butt? How do you talk? What is your self talk? Mm -hmm. See, before you can have intention versus execution with someone else, do you even know how to execute a conversation with you? That's me. You see what I'm saying? How do we have a conversation with ourselves? Um, I'm, so let's assume someone's watching this. Shit, I'm trying to find out my damn self. It's like they're trying to find out. It's like, how do you have a honest, productive conversation with yourself? Do we just, just accept? 
fully like what do we do we just fully accept where we are who we are at this point in time and go forward from there or are there steps is there is there something we just just talk to ourselves and just figure this shit out just talk to yourself and figure it out the, 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 okay so for me i believe the first thing you got to do is you got to understand the algorithm of life what is that what are you talking about you are exactly where you're supposed to be mm. today I, I love this i love you Right. If y'all don't heard this on this channel multiple times, I'm just saying. Yeah. And the reason why you are perfectly where you're supposed to be right now in life, because you are here based off of all the decisions of yesterday. Every single choice, every single conversation, every single thought, everything led you to here. Mm -hmm. And if you don't like where you are, that means you need to do something different. So you play sports, right? Mm -hmm. So when we play sports, what do we do? We got to go watch the game tapes. Mm -hmm. And when we're watching the game tapes, we're dissecting how we acted in the game, how we carried ourselves in practice. Mm -hmm. What was the preparation before we even got in the game? And in order to have a winning game plan, I got to start reviewing the footage of my life. Mm -hmm. I got to start reviewing the decisions. I got to go back and talk to my five-year-old self. And address traumas that I might have with my family. I might have to address traumas that I might have with my friends. Mm. I gotta really see. I can lie to you. Mm. I can't lie to the person in the mirror. Hell no. Because the person in the mirror gonna look back at you and be like, you know, you, you lying. Know you got there, I'm gonna get in shape this year. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do, and you ain't did nothing. I ain't gonna do this no more. And then you back doing it again. See, they say insanity is to do the same thing over and over oh, again and expect change. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So it gave me this crazy formula. That's why you got to have your pen and pad out. The formula is emotional intelligence equals life divided by you. Now, what the mm -hmm. fuck does that mean, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Emotional intelligence equals life divided by you. This is what it means. And excuse me for cussing because I ain't got to cuss. But what it means is, is you are given the gift of emotions. Happy, sad, anger, love. All these are gifts that was given to you. It had nothing to do with you, mm -hmm. but it was already programmed inside of you since the day that you were born, mm -hmm. right? So you got to understand the difference between emotions and being emotional. Mm -hmm. Emotions is feeling it happens to what you, you feel, choose that shit. right? But you're in charge of your emotions. Yeah. But when you're being emotional, now your feelings are in charge of you. Mm, that's true. Right? That's true. Because have you that's ever true. did something that's that you true. normally wouldn't do, but you were so angry, you were so caught up in your feelings, like once you were done, you're like, damn, I knew I should have did that. Uh, yo, I'm sorry. I'm this. I'm that. So that's between the difference between emotion and being emotional, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. equals emotional intelligence. Okay? Mm -hmm. So emotional intelligence equals life mm -hmm. divided by you. Life was here before you. So that makes life the numerator. Mm -hmm. And the ingredients of life is good and bad. Mm -hmm. And you are the common denominator of your life. Of course. So how you choose to feel about your good situations and your bad situations is up to your emotional intelligence. Ooh. Emotional intelligence, right? Okay, right, okay, right. Okay. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, based off of how you feel about what life is throwing at you, how you feel, you'll create your own heaven and hell. Mm. Based off of how you feel about what you're going through, because I don't care what you're going through, I guarantee someone in the graveyard wishes they was alive to have your type of problem. Big facts. Big facts. See, when you remember, you gave the the example earlier about the church and the altar and the money mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. how someone else saw it from the outside. Mm -hmm. See, it's all about perspective. Yeah, yeah. And when you're able to change your perspective, because guess what? That homeless person wish they could cry about what you're crying about. Mm -hmm. I'm not watering down your problems. I'm saying you can feel what you feel, but don't let your feelings control you. Yeah. Because when your feelings are now controlling you, you are no longer in control. Right. So you were given free will. And with this free will, what will you do? Mm -hmm. Because three things happen in life. You live, you die. What's the, what's the middle one? That's up to you. Ooh. <laughs> what you decide to do in between the dash That's is up crazy. to you. Do you That's your it? free will. Look, you it's not two decisions, it's three, dude. You die. You live, you die, or you do you, dude. And in the process of doing you, how you feel will elevate you because they mm -hmm. say your attitude reflects your altitude. Big facts. See, we got to understand feelings. We got to understand this design of us. 
Okay. And no, this is this is good because it, it falls into what I, 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 I definitely said. I, when I was younger, I've always been this thinking guy. Okay. When I was younger, I've always said emotions are the huge. It's one of the major problems we have is humanity. But it's not. And I, I evolved after that, right? Okay. And it was. It now comes to literally what you're saying is what it is, right? Emotional intelligence is the problem that humanity seeks. We, we, we lack, sorry, right now yeah. because we don't know. Emotions are. That's human. You can't choose. Emotion will happen to you. So yeah. gonna, someone, someone says something. Well, how do you react to these emotions? How, are you going to do that? Is your choice? Care, do, you know, and and that the good thing, as I said, the blessing about today is that now I, I know exactly what that word I usually used to use. As I said, I used yeah. to just say emotion was a problem because people just they just get in the emotion. They just act yeah. emotional. Exactly, emotional. They act emotional. But it's not that. It's emotional intelligence is is the thing. Like as a man, you need to be able to. Hold yourself back. You know what I'm talking about? You need to be able to, oh, oh, she look good. She fine as shit. But I got a girl at home. <laughs> as a man, you need to be able to hold yourself back. You know what I'm talking about? You need to be able to, oh, oh, she look good. She fine as shit. But I got a girl at home. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Bags. So say like, so guys, you can't, you can't just, you need to be able to hold yourself. If you don't have emotional, you, I want this man said something bad to me right now. He said something against my mom. I don't take that lightly. That that don't mean I gotta. Oh my, I gotta defend my mom's. There's no need for that. Like, bro, why the fuck you say that about my mom? I don't have to just. Hey man, the typical thing anybody would say. I'm from the streets. I'm gonna give it a bundle. The street guy's like, oh bro, he just insulted your mom. You gonna talk to him? No, bro, I'm not gonna. Know. For me, I think, and this is gonna come into my next thing. I think this might offend some people, but I think the street idea, that whole idea of the, you know the street rules, or I am call it, are not they're not emotionally intelligent. They are not helping. They don't. I, it's I, a, I, it's it depends a, on what kind of rule. I'm they, they're gonna be bothered by not this. All, not all the rules. It's a program. You know what I'm saying? It's a program that's been uploaded into the system. It's a virus. Because I, I definitely because. Bro, like this is my thing. Like right is wrong, wrong or right is right and wrong or wrong, right? In, in the sense of how we see things. But for some reason, even in the streets, they have their. They that, have their, that can't be the case. But, but they, uh, no, 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 that's what I'm saying. It's a system. It's a program. Because even in the streets, you have a code that you live by. Mm -hmm. There are rules to the streets. Mm -hmm. There's rules to being in gangs. There's rules to how you carry yourself. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't follow these rules, then you could be subjected to what it is. You feel? You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So even they got a code. Even they have a system. Whether it be right and wrong from how their system is running, it is still a perspective of how we carry ourselves, how we talk, how we handle our business. Mm -hmm. Right? You got to still be able to respect the code mm -hmm. in the street. Because if you don't, then we got a problem. Mm -hmm. Facts. You, you see what I'm saying? But you but, see how the street, the street code, though. But uh, some, some of the, some of them. I'm not, you know, no, no, I'm just saying there's programs in place, mm -hmm. and that's just one of the viruses that is running through the mm -hmm. system yeah, yeah. of that program. Yeah, because a lot of people turn to the streets for the absence of love. I ain't got no love at home, so I made my own crew. I got my own family. We we got things our own way. And then with the injustices or whatever else, no, we're going to protect our people. Mm -hmm. And this is how we're going to go about it. Mm -hmm. And this is the system and how we're going to constrain to make sure that we're protected because we're tired of being killed, mm -hmm. tired of being murdered. And then it can go ugly. Well, shit, I got to get money this way because they're not allowing me to get money. I got to figure out a way to feed my family. Mm -hmm. So this is what it's going to be. And I'm going to go all in and I'm willing to die for mine. Mm -hmm. And that's to, to me, that sounds honestly inconsiderate. If I got to take from you, for myself, yes, as we said earlier, you got to worry about yourself first. But if I got to take from you, for me, yeah, does that fall in line with what we were talking about earlier? Because I think that's all for me. Listen, I don't, I don't think that's what you, you know. But what, what? I'm from Ben Harbor, Michigan, right? Mm -hmm. I'm an army brat. I've been a lot of places. I've been through a lot of things, seen a lot of things. My ethics say it ain't okay, but I don't, I'm not here to judge nobody because yeah. I ain't God. You feel me? Yeah. So are there better ways to do things? Yes, because sometimes you have to understand that drug dealers are the best businessmen in the world. Hell yeah. Right? Sweet. It's just the product. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah. That's the They're only difference. A different thing. Yeah. So, 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 you know, my life changed when I met this lady, right? 
And she, she, she put me on some of the coldest game. And she said, you're a hoe and you don't even know it. I said, what? She says, okay, let me explain. You do sales, right? I said, yeah, I'm one of the best salesmen out there. She said, cool. She says, you're a hoe and you don't know it. I said, what you mean? She says, well, what does a hoe do? Mm. She goes on the corner. She stands. She sits there. She solicits herself. People come by. Eventually, someone wants to buy the product, right? Mm -hmm. And then at the end of the day, the pimp comes by and says, hey, ho, how much money did you make me? Did you follow the rules? Was you on your block? Did you actually do what you're supposed to do? No. Right? Yeah. All that shit, right? Mm -hmm. Bring that money back. So uh, she said, what's the difference with you? You go to, you go to work, right? Mm -hmm. And when you go to work, you put on the suit they tell you to put on. You stand by the booth. You sell the product. People come by. They buy it. And at the end of the day, the manager comes by and says, hey, how much money did you make? Well, according to our analytics, you should have been able to make this much. Mm -hmm. Did you follow the blueprint? Did you say the things that we said? Did you smile? Because, hey, if you can't get this job done, we're going to have to replace you. Mm -hmm. What's the difference between the hoe and the salesman, except for the product? Society, really. Structure, right? But, but you see what I'm saying? Structure. But, yeah. but, but it's the same thing, it's the it's same thing same but the thing. product different, is just different. Different names. Different names. The yeah. product is different. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And so most people don't catch that the product is different. And that's, that's hard and that's true. And, and that, that, that's something that... So now, how, how do we, as people of color, out on these, let me say, out on these streets. How do we better? Because as I said, bro, I, I, I'm just. You about to open up a whole can of. No, 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 I'm just saying. No, no, it's not. It's not even. I'm just saying because I feel like personally that you know what I'm saying some of the things that some of the the you know I, I'm saying this street stuff. I'm not saying the hood and all. That. I'm just just saying some things that that are that's within the community that's continue that's still going on is not beneficial of course not to the community how do we <laughs> that's what i'm saying and then now, see I, i'm glad you said it this, the, fuck, the way you said it is exactly how do we change that like that should that should not be the case we should not you should not be saying oh, yeah, yeah, what we do. Uh, yeah how do we how do we you know what i'm saying how do we get that all right because we're already in soup dog like, you know what I'm, saying? I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell y'all something this is why we're in the situation that we're in, because our counterparts studied us. And what they understood was if I can destroy the home, then I can destroy the situation that black people will want to create in the future. So the first thing I need to do is I need to be create a division between man and woman, mm. because if man and woman don't have no unity, then how can they love their children? And if there's no love in the home, then the children will go out to try to find love any and elsewhere. Thing, yeah. I mean, I hate to quote Ye, but I really don't because he said they made us hate ourselves but love their wealth. Mm -hmm. That's why we always trying to stunt. We want something. We want what we never have because the system has oppressed us for so long. Definitely Oppression is real. Depression is real. PTSD right. is real. Trauma is real. Right. We're still trying to heal or not trying. We still need to heal from what we've been through. But at the same time, what we've been through don't get to define us. Mm. Big facts. And so a lot of times we allow that to become a crutch or a handicap so that way we don't never evolve into everything that we're supposed to be. Do you understand that we got this out the mud, bro? Like really, really, when we have real conversations, do you understand that we are our ancestors' dream? The people that was picking cotton dreamed about the lifestyles that we have right now, and we take it for granted. Do you understand that they prayed about us a long time ago to cover us for we can be where we are right now? Mm. So my question is, how do we honor the past and create a better future? Mm. See, my friend Amir Sudaman, he said, one day, you, you, you will be someone's ancestor. Facts. That's that's crazy. Because when we say ancestors, we always thinking about everyone else. Mm -hmm. We don't see ourselves as someone's mm -hmm. ancestor. Mm -hmm. But one day, you, you, anybody that's watching this, you will be someone's ancestor. Act accordingly. That's hard. That's crazy. Like, that's... Mm. Like, yeah, I, I, I'm going to just, this isn't exactly how the poem went, but these are just different highlights in the poem that stuck out to me. He said, don't let the dead outlive you, for they have already done their deeds. Mm. What? Don't let the dead outlive you. Because they have already done. 
Now that's, that's they already did what they were supposed to do in their lifetime. What will you do, do with do your do opportunity? With your time. Okay. We always talk about we want the next leader. Well, look in the mirror. Then he said, death has been chasing you since the day you were born. That's hard. And that is real. The question is, where will it find you? Mm. Will death find you in you sitting there complaining or will it find you in your purpose? What? what? That's a, what? He what? Said, what? That's, what? Look. What? Bro, that dude is crazy. Shout out to you, big bro. Shout out to you. He, he, hey, hey, and, and he flipped it. He flipped it. He was just like, and, 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 oh man. He said, I'm, 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 this is a highlights, little snippets, little Costco samples. What will your children be able to say when they scream out your name based off your life's work? What will they be able to say? What will the future be able to say about you mm. when they scream out your name based off of how you lived your life. That's crazy. I mean, we can go even deeper. We, we, we in 2023, people are watching reality TV. So if your ancestors were watching you from heaven, what type of show are you putting on right now for them to watch? What episode are you on? What? That's deep. Who are you being in your re own reality TV show? Because if life is like a dream, then what is the dream that you're creating for yourself based off of how you're living right now? See, because you have to understand that you are the hero in your own journey. Ain't nobody coming to save you. You got to be willing to save yourself. And in every movie, in every story, if you're the protagonist, there has to be an antagonist. Mm -hmm. And an antagonist, let's, let's update the, the language. You got to have a troll. Mm. You gotta have haters. Mm. And even Jesus had Judas. So the question is when you face the Judas in your life, who are you in your hero's journey? And will you overcome what they said about you? Because a lot of times trolls expose your flaws. And are you willing to work on your weaknesses so you can overcome what they said about you? See, it's not what people say, it's how you react to it. It goes back to the emotional intelligence. Yes. Mm. Bro, 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 it's so fucking, excuse me, it's so freaking deep that you are Neo in the Matrix. Well, what does that mean, King? That's crazy. What that means is if you look at the Matrix, Neo didn't like his job. And then someone came into Neo's life and gave him a choice. He wanted to do something different, so he had to choose different are you willing to choose different in your life but even sometimes when you make a different choice a new career a new this a new that we still don't fully believe in it this is right. so they gave him test in the movie and he failed over and over and over again in the movie mm -hmm. until one day he said you know what? what if i believed and when he started to believe he started to move differently he started to act differently he started to all in the matrix because he was the one ever since the day he was born. That's hard. You have always been the one since the day you were born. You've just been lied to and programmed not to believe in yourself. Because mm. can you tell me another you? No? Anybody else got your DNA? Anybody else got your fingerprint? That means you are created. You are a masterpiece. Mm. But why will you buy a copy? Because you don't know how to be yourself. But see, when you know how to be yourself, that means you will start to believe. And when you start to believe in yourself, you'll start moving differently in this matrix. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What? Look, man. 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 We definitely run up part two on this. Man. We definitely we're gonna end it on, we're we're gonna end it on that because first of all, the battery down, but other than that, that was that's a fire way to end it. Like that's I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, he he don't say his teeth and I'm very sure what you just heard this man say with different words you've heard on all my, my other channels, my other shows. Be yourself, bro. Be yourself, bro. Like, when you die, you die. Nobody else gives a fuck. Like, nobody else dies. The universe will not weep for the other person. When you pass, it's just death. If I pass, it's just me. The only people that's gonna cry is remember the niggas that know me, man. That's about it. And it's at the end of the day, 
that's about it live your life enjoy the life live it love it bless people i, I mean that's Yo, you know all i can say i always end things like this right because i want you guys to have an understanding if you died today would you get an a plus on life report card mm. and only you know the answer to that mm. question only you I'm done. You hear me? Only you know the answer, bro. Not your mom, not your not your kid. I'm I'm gonna keep it up, buddy. Not even your kid, bro. Like just not your twin. Nobody. 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 Just listen. You. If you died today, would you get an A plus on life's report card? That's it. Oh. And only you know the answer to that question. But if not, and you're blessed to see tomorrow, you're better. Or you should, or you have the opportunity to live like it's extra credit. Because mm. tomorrow's not promise. Mm. We're all six degrees of separation from loving each other, but we choose to be addicted to poison. Mm. But every day that you wake up, mm -hmm. it's an opportunity to change your future. Mm. But it's a closer day to your grave. Every day that you wake up, it's an opportunity to change your life, but it's a closer day to your grave. So what are you waiting for? You have to be great with every breath you take because it could be your last. And on that, we're signing out. I ain't gonna say much, that's, that's, that's it. I'm not gonna say past that because he's, he's getting the same. Get ready for your boy. I got a tour coming up. It's called Whispering to Your Soul, W2YS. You're ready for me. Check me out on my social media, King Jaquel Martin. It's all together K I N G J A Q U E L L M A R T I N. And if you like my conversation, check out my Whispering to Your Soul mm -hmm. episodes on my Instagram page. And I promise you, we got some more. It's, hey, 2023. It's going up. It's lit because I guess why? I choose for it to be. And faith without work is dead. So you can say whatever you want to say, but if you're not willing to get up and put in the work every single day, well, then guess what? Up, It'll never happen for you. Yeah. I say I want to be look like this. Well, if I want to look like this, I got to go to the gym. This is called consistency. How consistent are you in your dreams? How consistent are you in what you say you want and how you want to live? Do you lie to yourself or are you consistent with yourself? Because self-discipline is the hardest discipline. And when you become disciplined and you believe and you consistent, the world has has no choice but to change. I promise you, get consistent in your life and you'll have whatever you want. Ooh, that's your boy Almighty, man. Almighty. That's a man, King, man. Yeet. Yeah. Speaking to your soul, whispering to your soul. Whispering to your soul. Yeah, we out, man. Stay mighty because we are. Blessings. Almighty push.